Welcome to another spherical moment. In this video, we discuss the strong form of pigeonhole principle. Some of us may be familiar with the pigeonhole principle. Let n and k be two positive integers. If kn plus 1 objects are distributed into n boxes, then one of the boxes must contain at least k plus 1 objects. Next, we introduce the strong form of pigeonhole principle. Let n k1 k2 to kn be positive integers. If k1 plus k2 plus so on to kn minus n plus 1 objects are distributed into n boxes, then there exists some i from 1 to n such that the i box contains at least ki objects. That is, the first box contains at least k1 objects, or the second box contains at least k2 objects, or so on. Note that the above cases are not mutually exclusive. Two or more cases may occur at the same time. Also, by writing all ki equals to k plus 1 in the strong form, it reduces to the pigeonhole principle. It's easy to prove by contradiction. Suppose not, that is the i box contains at most ki minus 1 objects for all i. Then the total number of objects in all n boxes is at most k1 plus k2 plus all the way to kn minus n, a contradiction. This completes the proof. The pigeonhole principle may be proved via a similar argument. To illustrate its application, we discuss two examples. Example 1. There are three sizes of batteries in a shop, namely large, medium and small. LX generator requires either three large or eight medium or 12 small batteries to work. What is the minimum number of randomly chosen batteries LX should buy to ensure a working generator? Here, each battery size is a box. The desired conclusion is at least 3 large batteries, or at least 8 medium batteries, or at least 12 small batteries. By setting n equals to 3, k1 equals to 3, k2 equals to 8, and k3 equals to 12, in the strong form of pigeonhole principle, we know that buying 21 batteries ensures the said conclusion. To see that 21 is indeed the minimum, check that getting 2 large, 7 medium and 11 small batteries, that is a total of 20, does not suffice. Example 2. There are 4 white, 5 black, 8 red, 8 green and 9 yellow balls in a bag. What is the minimum number of randomly selected balls to ensure the selection contains part 1, 4 balls of the same color, part 2, 7 balls of the same color. Can you solve it? Let us discuss the solution. Part 1, here each color is a box and the objects are the balls. The desired conclusion is at least 4 white, or at least 4 black, or at least 4 red, or at least 4 green, or at least 4 yellow balls. We know by applying the strong form of pigeonhole principle, with n equals to 5 and ki equals to 4 for all i, that selecting 16 balls ensures the said conclusion. To see that 16 is indeed the minimum, check that selecting 3 balls of each color, there is a total of 15 does not contain 4 balls of a single color. Let us move on to part 2, which the desired selection contains 7 balls of the same color. In view of part 1, it may be tempting to apply the strong form of pigeonhole principle by setting n equals to 5 and ki equals to 7 for all i. This is wrong since it is only possible to have 7 balls of the same color if the color is red, green or yellow. There is only 3 boxes. Setting n equals to 3 and ki equals to 7 for i equals to 1, 2 and 3, in the strong form of pigeonhole principle, we know that selecting 19 balls among red, green and yellow will ensure the said conclusion. 
To account for possible inclusion of 4 white and 5 black balls, we require a selection of at least 28 balls. To see that 28 is indeed the minimum, check that the combination of 4 white, 5 black, 6 red, 6 green and 6 yellow balls, that is a total of 27, does not contain 7 balls of a single colour. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share, like and subscribe for the latest video. Leave in comments any problems or topics you are interested in. Alternatively, you may email me. Thank you for watching.